Well, airports are also busy with travel records expected to be broken. So far, it looks like this season is off to a smooth start after hundreds of delays and cancellations last year, but many hope it stays that way. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aliyah Red breaks down Senator Blumenthal's plan to protect those flying. The time is here. We're in the final stretch of holiday travel. From December 20th up until December 31st, um, it's projected that more than 110,000 passengers will depart from Bradley Airport. Spokesperson for the airport Brian Spiro says preparation is key with the foot traffic they expect this weekend. We're gearing up sort of as a lot of people are heading to their holiday destination. Airports doing their part to ensure seamless journeys for those flying. Some may recall last year's Southwest meltdown causing several delays and cancellations. There is no excuse, none, zero, for travelers to have to endure the same kind of meltdown this year. Southwest will pay over $750 million to passengers and $140 million to the Department of Transportation. After the holiday travel debacle, Senator Blumenthal is taking steps to protect flyers. He's calling on airlines to be prepared. Make sure you have the staff, the logistics are in place, the software is running, all that needs to be done is there. Preventing cancellations, delays, and other travel-related issues does not stop once the busy season is done. Beyond holiday travel, the Connecticut senator is pushing a new bill to help with airline issues year-round. The Passenger Bill of Rights contains money back in people's pockets when their flights are delayed or canceled, 1300 bucks if it's more than a set number of hours. Airline compensation for meals and lodging behind delayed or canceled flights is also included on the bill. In Hartford, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.